This is Greedfall, an epic RPG that focuses on firearm combat, blade combat, and even some magic. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Now, full disclosure, I am not being paid to play this game. I just really like RPGs, and this seems like a very good one. So let us start a new game. We're going to play on normal difficulty. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There! Now, hold the pose. And now we get to create our character. So you can play as a woman or a man. And uh, we're going to just be changing our look just slightly. We're going to go for something like this, I suppose. And we'll change our hair a little bit. Maybe we'll go for something like this. And we'll go for a little bit of facial hair. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm just going to choose some random stuff. And we'll go for black. And Ooh, you can... Oh, yeah, that's a lot of... A lot of nice options for the eyes right there. And we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so here we go. This is, these are our starting classes right now. So Warrior focuses on melee combat, strength, endurance, etc. Then you have Technical, which focuses on controlling the battlefield, elemental traps, firearms, accuracy, agility are recommended attributes, and also Science and Lockpicking sounds fun. And then we have Magic. Now, Magic is pretty powerful. I think a lot of people are choosing Magic at the moment. Personally... I don't really want to choose magic in a game that allows you to use firearms and elemental traps and things like that. So I'm actually going to be selecting technical. All right, so we can pick our first point in a variety of different things. So we can, we can, if we want to, just go technical, but then we can go for strength or endurance or anything like that. It's not really, I, I would say it's probably not advisable. I'd probably go for something like agility or accuracy. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for agility because I think we can, I don't know, I think, I think firearms are going to be pretty fun, but I think most of our damage is going to be done in melee combat. So we're going to do agility and then we'll go into the next step. Otherwise we have craftsmanship, vigor, charisma, science, lockpicking, and so on. You can even craft in this game, by the way. So you can craft basic weapon, armor upgrades, master weapons, advanced weapons, and so on and so forth. Then you have intuition as well. Gathering sites become easier to see. Slightly, slightly increases the number of ingredients and objects obtained through gathering and looting. And it also unlocks contextual dialogue options. In other words, that's basically your speech skill in this game. So it's definitely something that you want to probably think about and charisma is also something that you probably want to think about too if you want to do a speaky character, but I'm not going to do a speaky character for the moment because I would like to get lockpicking. Let's start the game. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you. Her Highness and Oh, thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. All right, so, uh, yeah, you can actually get companions in this game as well to join your party. And there is also Tactical Paws. So for those of you that are big fans of Tactical Paws, don't worry, they've got you covered here. Now, the combat is real-time. It is not turn-based or anything like that. You have parries, you have dodges, and you have firearms elemental traps, magic, and all manner of other things. 
Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! All right, so this is where we have to do a little bit of a tutorial. We're going to be attacking three times. We have a secondary attack as well, where you can kind of kick, and that kind of inflicts a little bit of a stun. I'm parrying right now. You can also dodge with shift. Well, Greenblood, one might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. You already training for your new post of legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. No, thanks all the same. I have quite a few tasks to check off my list before we depart. And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the Isle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. <sighs> I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Now, one thing I gotta say about the combat system is that I really enjoy it because there are a variety of different ways that you can achieve victory. You can wear down your opponent by using elemental traps and removing their armor and then attacking them with normal attacks. Or, like what I did right here against Kurt, I was able to build up fury and then I was able to use my fury attack to get through his armor or to at the very least do health damage to him and as a result I was able to achieve victory relatively fast. And parrying is also very important as well because it opens up the opponent to quite a few attacks. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now. Let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill... Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. 
One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to- I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here, take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. So, wonderful transition, by the way, out into the world, and you can even walk around, if you so desire. You can you can just walk, you can just walk, the, you know, standard sort of walking, walk the walk, talk the talk. I, I don't know whether I'm going to be talking the talk, because I don't have any conversational skills at the moment. Kurt? It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Aha, so here we go. This is our first companion. We're going to be adding Kurt to the team. As you can see, he's got one point in endurance already. And he can use all melee weapons. His engagement action is a balance potion. And special attack, special move according to the equipped weapon. He has also relationship levels with various factions. You can see here that he is part of the coin guard. His relationship level with us is suspicious and he has a friendship bonus of craftsmanship when we have improved his relationship with us. Anyway, Kurt is a melee combat master and can wear heavy armors. So let's confirm the team and move on. All right, so now what we can do is we can basically go to the next to quests the and as you can see here we have to go to the ambassadors to first their dwellings are not far from here we could go there first very well do you think constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship i don't know but it's certainly worthy of inspection all right so basically the tutorial is now telling us that we can open the local map this is the local map you can pretty much easily just look around and see exactly where you need to go it's really quite detailed you can see exactly what you need on the side here with the legend there's even dungeons that you can go into in this game as well i'm really looking forward to that and uh, otherwise oh now now i've now i'm completely lost oh that's great i i lost where i was going <laughs> fantastic looking at a map lost where he was going isn't that just <sighs> Typical. Typical for me, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. I think I have found the door. I think it's right here. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. 
You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier d for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. All right, so we accomplished this relatively easily, and we're now going to exit. Now, I might like to take a look at that ambassador. Oh, not, not the ambassador, the alchemist. I'm actually wondering whether they... Ah, uh, yes, okay, so... Ah, uh, so many different question marks. Ah, here we go. Find the charlatan. So technically we could go there and do that. We can also negotiate with the vendor over there too. But what we should probably do first is notify the other ambassador about our departure because it is right over here. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do.
I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. And we are just going to be leaving the embassy and attempting to do one of these side quests because I'd very much like to do that. Let's have a look and see where they are. Okay, so this is where the charlatan is. That's where the alchemist is. And the smugglers are around the same area where the main quest is. So first off, I am wanting to go over here. I would like to go over to the coin merchant or whatever it is because that was one of the first quests that we gained. Yes, the merchant is there. He's right here. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refused to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment, but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Ah, here we go. Okay, so this is when the RPG nature of the game comes in. And uh, I, oh, you know, I would love to be able to try Charisma. It's gonna, It's got a 50% chance. Should I try Charisma? I don't know whether this is going to have lasting repercussions, but I'm going to try Charisma just because it's fun to try it. Let's do it. I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade. Nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and Legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well. As orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise, without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, my lord, I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The Quartermaster must be expecting us. Very nice. Okay, so there you go. We did resolve it uh, somewhat amicably, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, let's take a look at what else we have here. Okay, so we can find the charlatan. That is the alchemist. And then we can also inform the coin guard there. Okay, so the charlatan is right around the side there. So we might want to do that first. So let's go around here. I gotta say, I really like the world, by the way. It feels very much like it is, well, alive. It feels alive because you've got all kinds of things going on. You've got uh, objectives everywhere. I mean, look at this. I don't even know what all of these are. I would assume they're merchants or other events of some kind, but I really want to find out exactly what's going on. We see people all over the place. Which is really fantastic. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, 
the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm going to take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man. Right. Yeah. Speech is well polished. This is very, very similar to the snake oil salesman Anybody and various other well things that have been throughout history. And we're going to find out whether it's actually true. Probably, probably not, let's face it. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Ooh, all right. So let's, uh, let's ask about nice, nasty side effects. Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to take a look at his cart, which is just over here. Can I, uh, can I jump over this? Yeah, so tactical pause, by the way. Tactical pause is right here. You can go into your, uh, well, shall we say, into your skills, and you can rebind them immediately, right here. So if I wanted to rebind my firearms, I could put that on three, and I could put my health potion on four, and so on and so forth. So whenever I'm in a battle, I can press four and then I can drink a health potion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run around because that's apparently where I need to go. Aha, let's open up this gate. I thought I might need lock picking. Oh, hello there. I see an enemy. Ooh, he, whoa, he, he, he went down like no one's business. Yeah, I've got to be careful about the parries. Got to be careful about the parries. Whoa, Kurt is doing a fantastic job so far. He's just literally murdering them. Yes, fury attack. Very nice. Okay. Whoa, Kurt absolutely beasted both of them. What? That's crazy. Okay, so yeah, I would assume that these bandits are working with the charlatan. And there's definitely something going on there. Definitely some funny business. All right, old leather cape. Ooh, I'd like to. I'd like to equip all this. I'd like to equip all this. Oh yes, thank you, thank you, tutorial. It's telling me that I can equip this. I like it. All right, so let's uh, let's go and 
see what's good here. Anything good? Okay, so, wow. Yeah, they've got all kinds of different things. And it actually changes your look as well, which I really like. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to equip this. And is there anything else that I can do? Yeah, gloves. Got some new gloves as well. Very nice. And we got some new boots. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like it. And did I get anything else? Yes, I did. Oh, look at this. I got an alchemist saber or a rusty stiletto. I don't know really what I want to use. The Oh. <laughs> I believe this is actually from the DLC that comes along with the game. Uh, dependent on what you buy, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Anyway, there you go. I guess I'll just equip that. It's a fiery sword. Why not? I think that sounds pretty fun. And then we have this. A rifle with boar ivory decoration. Sounds nice. And then what else do we have? Discoverer's hat. These are all the things that we've gained over the course of the time with the game so far. And then we have just in general some other stuff here. Mother's present and, and things like that. All right. So I believe that's it. Yeah, that, 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 is, that is our melee weapon. Yeah, is it? That is our melee weapon A. That's our melee weapon B. Okay, so what if I... Okay, I'm actually unsure which one I'm using first. Which one am I using? I'm using the stiletto. Can I change... Can I change my... This is... Hmm. Maybe... I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Well, maybe... Uh, maybe I can do that through this. So let's... Uh, let's equip that. And then I will go here. And then we'll equip this here. No, it seems like you can't actually do that. You can't equip it in that... In that hand. So at least at least I know that now. Okay, well that's absolutely fine. No problem at all there. So what I would like to see is yeah, firearms are just a general generalized thing. All right, so let's loot this. We're going to be gaining some poisoned alchemical mix. I wonder whether that's actually the thing. Okay, there's a worn tricorn hat here, which I might very I might very well like to equip. Although this does give me, oh, this gives me plus one intuition, which is actually really nice. I should have probably been using that already. So I'm just going to continue using that, to be honest. Okay, so where is the guy's cart? I, I think the guy's cart is around here. Yes, it is. A letter from the innkeeper to the servant. Louise, the weird alchemist of the Alliance who rented a room upstairs, specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. This old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something. So leave him in his filth. The customer is always right. These pages are covered in small, almost illegible handwriting, experiment results, patient observations, and incomprehensible symbols, but the complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt. The author was a true alchemist and was certainly very knowledgeable. And we have acquired the antidote. So now what we want to do is, well, technically let's take a look at the map, because maybe it's given me something else. Now there's the coin guard barracks. I was thinking that maybe it would give me the inn's location, so we might be able to go to his room, but I think we're probably going to have to speak to him. We look much cooler now. Have you finally made up your mind? Alright, so we're gonna show him the remedy. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to Oh, it seems like he, uh, yeah, we need to take a look at the tavern. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so, oh, there's the tavern. Okay, so there is the tavern. Let's, let's make our way down there. I love the fact that they've given you a sprint. I think that's really cool. Hello there. I am in the tavern now. Very good. What is this? 
Gold coins. Okay, I just picked up some random gold coins. I'm so sorry, lady. I seem to have stolen some gold coins from you, perhaps. <laughs> we'll ask the innkeeper. Mm, I'm going to just skip that because I think I that he off. does not Go have anything on. for us at the moment. I think I should probably be... I'd like to go upstairs, if at all possible. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Yes, I think I might be able to go upstairs to the guy's... Uh, to the guy's room. I hope. Because I thought I'd have to ask the innkeeper about him, but apparently I didn't have to. Aha! Yes, the innkeeper's storeroom key, so I can now open that up if I want to. Oh, lockpicking is coming in handy, I think. Very nice. Okay, so we're getting this. Elemental resistance. Ancient straight saber. That seems pretty nice. Let's take that. Is there anything else here? There doesn't seem to be anything else here. All right, so technically... Ah, here we go. So we needed those keys to be able to get into the storeroom, and I assume that's where the charlatan is hiding. So let me, first off, go and equip this, which is a saber. I'm, I'm actually kind of wondering why I can't use this in that uh, in that hand but well I don't really mind we've gotten an upgrade now which is relatively nice so pretty happy with that and we're now gonna head on around the side here and there he is uh, I'm actually just gonna loot this first dear Arif I am genuinely sorry to learn that you have not found the piece you were hoping for in Serena since your departure from the Academy the situation has been deplorable those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules did not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments, and there is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some place where you can be at peace, your friend. Right, let's speak to him. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al-Sad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set off a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? Oh, you don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? Oh, so it appears we now have a pretty significant choice. Now, here's the thing. 
this is the kind of choice I really like because you never know whether this is going to have lasting repercussions or whether, you know, something's going to happen in the future. Maybe if we help him leave, he's going to maybe do something for us in the future. Uh, maybe if we arrest him, I don't know what we're going to get for that. But the thing is, is we've got to consider his actions. His actions are that of a man that are that, that is attempting to help people. You know, he's attempting to make uh, make inroads in his research. He's not harming people in a significant way. He is well, a very minor way actually. Not not even not even harming them at all in general. The only way that he's going to be harming someone is if they have that particular remedy in large doses, as he has just said. So technically, technically it's not too bad. So, I mean, he is a master alchemist after all. So I, I guess I'm going to help him leave the city. I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Alright, so we have to find a way out to the outside relatively discreetly. And I think we can probably do that because we have found the storeroom key already. And that means that we should have a very easy time escaping because we'll probably be able to get through somewhere that is not widely known oh we, never mind it seems like we need to negotiate with the angry crowd well let's try it please listen i beg you if you wanted to reimburse you get in the back of the line like everyone else believe me i understand why you're angry me it's not money i want that charlatan tried to poison us I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he could be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday. You'll see. Ah, here we go. We can actually use intuition. Speak of a horrible side effect. And so you plan on waiting here? I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops. And my tooth is aching more than ever. Alas, you need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis <sighs> A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed, then? Everyone. Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. What are we gonna do? The doctor costs a fortune. We're all gonna end up like statues. Listen to me, everyone. I know a good doctor that will help us. Come on, follow me! That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him. The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. Ah, so it seems like I did fail the uh, attempt to exit the tavern discreetly, which is kind of weird because I would have expected... Hmm. Ah, oh, you know what? This is this is the way. This is the way to enter the t uh, exit the tavern discreetly, I would assume, right? Maybe? I, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to just find out and... In, in, oh, no, it doesn't seem like that's the case. There doesn't seem to be an exit here. Well, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So, in other words, you had a choice as well there. So you could have tried to escape the tavern discreetly, or you could negotiate with the crowd. Because we have one intuition, it is pretty easy to negotiate. As you could see, it worked pretty nicely. And, ah, here we go. Okay, so <laughs> this is the discreet way to leave. And we don't have the key, and it is locked. Why don't I have the key? Thought I had the key. Well, let's open this up. Lock picking. And what's this? Oh, loot. Yes, innkeeper's key. I will take everything, thank you very much. The key to the tavern. Okay, so technically, this is where we can exit. Locked. Okay, let's use the key. Yeah, no, I actually don't want to attack the door, thank you. 
here as fast as we can. Okay, so technically, uh, you can do this, or you can go and speak to the crowd. And I think that personally, either way, perfectly fine. But what's cool about it is that it does give you that option. It gives you the RPG option. So, you know, the classic RPG kind of feel to it. So let's speak to him and see what he says. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You are free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, sir. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell. Right, there we go. So now we can inform the Alliance Ambassador what we have done. Hopefully we can maybe lie to him or maybe we can just say to him that we firmly believe that the Alchemist was doing a good job. Oh, this is a fantastic quality of life effect. Go directly back to the Bridge Alliance Embassy and it takes you there immediately. That is so fantastic. Okay, let's speak to him. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Ooh, okay. I'm going to confront him. Why should I deliver him to you? You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the Congregation of Merchants that you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist of the bridge, and he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And of course you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels. I just chased him from our city. Now, if you're still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Right, so we did gain 1,000 experience, which is really, really nice. And he did give me something. I don't know what he gave me. But we also lost reputation. I don't know whether you noticed that, but we did lose some reputation as a result of our actions, which I gotta say is very cool. I like the whole reputation thing. Oh yeah, by the way, this is our talent tree. What an insane amount of talents that you can spec into here. Uh, well, skills, attributes, talents, etc. There's all kinds of different things to spec into. Otherwise, that will be it for this episode. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, if you'd like more from me in Greedfall, then by all means, let me know in the comments. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.